Welcome back. If you're staying in town this Labor Day weekend, there is still plenty of stuff to do. Claire Caning with Visit Milwaukee joins us now with a few suggestions. Hey, Claire. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, let's talk about this uh, new self-guided walking tour. Yeah, so this is Historic Financial District. You might be saying, what the heck is that? Because yeah, I did not yeah. know. <laughs> well, it is the streets from Milwaukee to Water Street and then uh, Clybourne to Wisconsin. So it's really just a four square block area. Used to be home to all the financial businesses, but also some really interesting people, including a lot of the suffragettes around the turn of the century. Um, so this walking tour, you learn all about that. Again, Historic Milwaukee does excellent walking tours, um, and I can't wait to check this one out. Yeah, that's really cool. And also a way to kind of help support uh, some Black-owned businesses uh, yes. through a scavenger hunt. Yes, yeah, so MKE Black just launched a scavenger hunt. You can head to mkeblack.org to see it. And what it is, is it's encouraging you to take a picture and then post to your social media of different ways you are interacting with black businesses or basically recognizing black culture and its impact on Milwaukee. So whether it's you take a picture of Velar Phillips Avenue or a picture of something you just bought from a black business. Um, you check all the boxes off the list and that's how you complete the scavenger hunt. Yeah, really good way to support some local businesses. Uh, yeah. Also something I've never done, but I really need to, and maybe this weekend, the Jewish Museum in Milwaukee reopening to the general public. Reopening, it is fabulous if you've never been. Of course, just like all of our museums, they have a host of really comprehensive safety protocols, including time ticketing. So just like everything we're doing these days, you're going and purchasing your admission ticket in advance. Don't think you can just show up and get in. Um, again, so both the Jewish Museum and the Public Museum, which just reopened, doing time ticketing. Of course, physical distancing is practiced, masks are required, uh, they're you know, limiting capacity and on and on. But again, if you have been missing these places as a great place to take your kids, they are back and we cannot be happier. Totally, and now, um Let's talk food and drink. Let's get let's get to right to food and drink this Friday. Let's get to it. So <laughs> in the vein of reopenings, Bartolotta Restaurant Group has reopened two more of their restaurants, Harbor House, which I mean, can you imagine a better weekend to go sit on that patio? Um, I cannot. No. And then also Mr. B's in Brookfield. If you uh, need your steak fix, of course, you head to Brookfield. Awesome, and we have more info online from you guys for people to check out. Claire, thank you so much for joining us this Friday. Have a great holiday weekend. You too. And yeah, just hit up TMJ4.com for uh, more details on all these activities, including some more we uh, ran out of time to mention. Up next.